Your name? Walter Williams. Walter Williams. William Powell. William Powell. Eddie Lever. Eddie. Bad Eddie Lever. Uh. Highly regarded and influential R&B group, the OJs were known for their soulful harmonies, powerful vocals, and socially conscious lyrics. With hits such as, Backstabbers, what they do, they in your face. The Love Train, those were the days. To date, we never get tired listening to their jams. While the group was at the height of success, there was one man who was the heart and soul of the band. This man was Eddie Leavitt. His powerful and gritty voice, topped up with soulful delivery and passionate performances, shaped and defined the characteristic of the group's sound. He was, and still is, a fan favorite. It is because of this we choose to celebrate him while he's still here with us. In our eyes, he is a legend. In our eyes, he is up there with the other greats. With him still touring with the group while also performing as a solo artist at the age of 81, you have to give it to him. The road has not been easy for him, but as a strong man, he has pushed through. Apart from losing his fellow founding group members, he lost two of his sons under mysterious circumstances. Something that broke him down. Before we get deep into this, let's have a quick background check of him. Born on June 16, 1942, in Bessemer, Alabama. Edward Willis Leavitt's family moved to Canton, Ohio at age six. From a young age, he had to learn to handle challenges the hard way. To begin with, his elder brother had sickle cell anemia and one half of his body was paralyzed. But to him that was not an excuse to just lazy around. He never missed to go to work even a single day, not even through the snowy season. A young Eddie turned the pity he had on his brother into motivation. And that's how he slowly changed his perception about life. Eddie Leavitt's passion for music pushed him to join his home church choir. It was until high school when he, together with his classmates, Walter Williams, William Powell, Bobby Massey and Bill Isles decided to form a group called The Triumphs which later changed its name to The Mascots. Their popularity grew as their music was broadcast on Cleveland radio stations. In 1969, they would change the group's name to The OJs as a tribute to Cleveland's disc jockey Eddie OJ who was essential in the group's managing and mentoring. The rest is history. Back in 1966, Eddie met a young Martha Bird and for a period of 19 years, they were together. They were blessed with three kids, Gerald Leavitt, born in 1966, Sean Leavitt born in 1968, and younger daughter, Candice Brooks. The two boys, Gerald and Sean decided to follow their dad's path and formed a vocal group, Levert, together with their friend Mark Gordon. Gerald, who was the lead vocalist, was found dead in his bed at his house in Cleveland, Ohio on November 10, 2006. His death was shrouded with mystery as the autopsy indicated his death was caused by a fatal combination of prescription narcotics and over-the-counter drugs. It also revealed that Leavitt had pneumonia. However, the official cause of death was acute intoxication, and the death was ruled accidental. He was 40 years old at the time of his death. Two years later, the worst happened to Sean Leavitt. R&B singer Sean Leavitt entered the Cuyahoga County Jail on March 24, clutching the prescribed medication he took regularly for anxiety. Jail staff took the bottle of Xanax away from him and failed to give him a single pill during the six days he was there. Even when he began suffering horrifying delusions, he wasn't given his medication and never saw a doctor. Instead, on March 30, jailers strapped Sean into a restraint chair, still fighting the monstrous visions in his head caused by withdrawal from the medication. Minutes later, he stopped breathing. His heart then stopped and doctors couldn't save him. He was reported dead on March 20, 2008 due to complications from sarcoidosis. The official report also noted contributing factors of high blood pressure, heart disease, diabetes, and withdrawal from Xanax. He was 39 years old at the time of his death. With Eddie losing his two kids in such a manner, you have to feel sorry for him. There is no pain that can equate to a parent burying their kid. Even though they say the past doesn't hurt when you don't remember it, sometimes, revisiting it is what makes you heal. This is not about opening up old wounds. It is about appreciating the effort made by our favorite artists despite their troubles and tribulations. It takes great courage and strength to still give your all to the fans without breaking. Whenever he calls for a show, let's attend it. Whenever he celebrates his birthday or anniversary or whatever on his social media platforms, let's not forget to put in kind words and flood him with nothing but positive vibes. 
Let's return the energy he gave us. We wish you nothing but long life. Do you have a favorite song you would like to sing? Backstabbing. Ah, that's your favorite one! <laughs>